YouTube, what's happening? It is Monday, October 14th. And as you can see, both matchups are happening today. So we're going to talk about both games. We're going to break them down, look at props, look at batting, pitching, everything we can, and see if there's anything that we want to base our bets on or for passing or whatever we need to do. So drop a like, subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump into that first game right now. All right, first game is going to be the Mets and the Dodgers we're going to focus on. They played yesterday, uh, and Dodgers just dominated. Flaherty looked amazing. Mets looked like garbage, but hey, that was game one. Now we go on to game two. We can see that it is uh, Dodgers 142 with an eight and a half total. Uh, basically, everything I'm seeing online, because if you look right here, you can see it is undecided who is pitching for the Dodgers, but a lot of rumors from a lot of the Dodger pages is that it's going to be straight bullpen game. At this time of recording, I don't see anything officially stating who's starting. So bullpen game, then go into the off day. That way they're rested. That way, if they need to pitch the next game in game three, they'll be ready to go, the whole bullpen. So, uh, which is another reason why Flaherty went so long yesterday since he was doing great. They pushed him to seven. So makes sense. I get it. Makes tons of sense. So back here to this, we can see all that. Let's look at some numbers for the teams. Let's look at some stats. Uh, we have the New York Mets stats for the whole postseason so far. We can see who's leading the team in batting average. The Vientos, uh, he's the only one over 300, really, because two, three, 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 he's down to 375. Uh, Glacius, 226. Lindor's kind of just there, two, 233. Uh, Nimmo, 241. They've all cooled off since the last series. You can see how they're doing. Some are just doing terrible. Like Marte's 167. Taylor's 120. Alvarez, 172. Just some of them are just not good right now. And we pop over to the Doyas. We can see that Otani 250. Mookie is trying not to be as dookie. He's warming up a little bit. That number was way worse a few games ago. Uh, Muncie's 182. Uh, T Hernandez 286. And you got E Hernandez at a smooth 385 down here. I mean, he's only played in four games, but still, that's pretty sick. He needs to play. I, just, I, I understand why they play, don't play him sometimes, but then uh, just the dude's on fire. Let him play more. And you can see some of these zeros. Yeah, cool. Let's look at the pitchers. So, for since it's a bullpen game, we don't really know what's going to happen for the Dodgers. Uh, it's going to be Manea for the Mets. We know that. That's already there. So, uh, 12-6, and 6, 347, 184, 108. We know all this. We've seen this. Uh, we can see what he has done this season. Just in case you need a refresher, I got it for you right here. He went seven innings against the Phillies. Three hits, one earned, six Ks. Great outing right there. Against Milwaukee, five innings, six hits, two earned. A pretty good outing. Batting slightly better than average. Um, to me, around three is okay. Anything higher than that? Uh, no. So, Question is, how many times have you faced the Dodgers this year? That's a simple question we need to answer. Let's look. Looking through this list, I there, he faced them once April 19th. You know how long ago April was? It is October. It was six months ago. So uh, you went five innings, four hits, two earned. You can see it was still a pretty decent game. So uh, yeah, he's looking decent. So let's pop over to props. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to props and dig a little bit deeper. So I went in there right there. Let's open them up. Let's look at, ooh, there's a lot of green. We'll see what that is in a second. We'll come back to that. Uh, we want Manea. There we go. Let's look at some stats. Dodger bats versus Manea. Okay. 286. 500 with 18 at bats. Pretty impressive. Okay. Um, let's see. 250 and 24 at bats. Ah, it's average. Not really concerned about that. One for one. 294 and 17 at bats with a home run. That's pretty decent. 091 with 11 at bats. That ain't good. <laughs> I was going to say, that ain't good. Buck 67 on both of these, um, not good either. The main one is probably going to be Smith. 500 over 18. I don't care what you've done. If you're hitting the ball 9 out of 18 times and getting on base, that's pretty good. Pretty good numbers. Against lefties, we can see how they've been. You see what the numbers have been the whole season. There you go. There's your numbers. I don't really care this much about it. It's the whole season. Eh, what can you do? Move on. Look at the props. His outs is the first thing that pops up, and they have it listed at 16 and a half, which is out math. That is, what, five and two-thirds? If he goes five and two-thirds, he wins this one. Um, I don't know if he does it. If he gets if he gets lit up, he ain't going five and two-thirds. I don't see it. I just, I just can't see it. They'll, get, they'll pull his ass and put the bullpen in, especially with them being off the next day. I can definitely see him pulling him quickly. Quick hook. So I don't trust that. Strikeouts, five and a half. Hmm. He has gone over five and a half, only 56% of the time this year, and he's expected to have less innings than usual. No, I can't do that. Head to head, only two and three in his history versus them in the last two years. I can't, just can't do that. Uh, hits three and four against him, so he doesn't give up many hits either. Uh, number is four and a half over. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's That might be one. Earn runs. You see, we've done the whole 
whole year head to head zero and two so he's been pretty decent the last two games i mean versus uh the dodgers obviously and uh walks looks like a walks for the whole year been pretty good one and a half and zero and three so there's the walks so the only thing i would even think about is maybe the hits maybe i don't trust the runs strikeouts is a no outs i almost feel like going under just the under pitching outs would be kind of wild so that's it uh, let's look at bats let's look at the bats all right so i need a game let's put on the mets dodgers again this is outlier you can get your week for free link in the description that's all it is you sign up week for free boom pretty simple and you get to look at all this information and everything so all right so hernandez we saw is not doing too well i had him yesterday he went nothing for me alvarez five for five let me look at alvarez that is a met okay just i don't know we'll see if i like this or not Alvarez is you're batting a smooth, smooth buck seventy-two right now. But somehow for the whole postseason, but somehow you are five for five and getting an HR. And I don't know how. That's hilarious. Um, um Enrique or yeah, if Enrique plays, cool, Nemo, Otani. Ooh, who's the one that had the great history versus Maneo? Let me look at that again. Let me look at the great history. Uh Smith. Smith. Let's look at Smith. Is Smith on here? He's got to be on here. Will Smith. That's walks. I don't care about walks. <laughs> you want a walk prop? There you go. Will Smith to get a walk. Other than that, we are getting way down here in the just the ugh, Will Smith. Disgusting. Um, I mean, do you ride the hot bat? I mean, you kind of have to. But then it's only over half. Ooh, I think for this one, I think I'm gonna be chalky. I think I'm just gonna go. You know what? This feels like something. I feel like going with Tani. That's the first thing that comes to mind. I look at this list and say, like, you know what looks good? Oh, Tani looks good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick one. You know, sometimes it's all about the vibes. You go with the vibes, you take it. So I'm going to take oh, Tani over 1.5 HR. Just because. I don't like the pitcher props. I can't do the other side. So, um, yeah. And let's go back over here. Who do I like? Do I like the Dodgers or do I like the Mets? Oh, Part of this is how I think. This is my thinking here. I'm thinking the Dodgers get to Manea and he, they score some runs on him. I don't know if the Mets have the bats to come back. But bullpens games are weird. They're weird, even weirder in the postseason right now. So I almost want to take the Dodgers money line because it's only one. Eh. Yeah, so we'll do. I'm just going to go with Dodgers go up to a. This one we'll do. LAD money line. LAD money line, Otani, make your own plays, take this information, do what you want. You might like the Mets, you like, like something else, hell, I don't know. But I'm going to rock with the Dodgers and Otani, because why the hell not? Yeah, next game. All right, second game, you can see it's Cleveland and New York, and we have uh, the Yankees minus 160, game one of the series. Seven and a half is the total. Let's pop over here to the actual uh teams and let's look at some information on them so for cleveland we start with them first uh, i mean is it any question who the hottest bat is now that tatis is out of the playoffs and obviously he was cooling down i mean kwan is the is just he's batting 524 over five games that is ridiculous and then thomas is batting 316 um rockio or through whatever you say it's 375 i mean there were, these three bats were carrying the team that's, that's all you need to know. You, there, that's what you got. Jose is only batting 188. He's the one. You know he's going to warm up because Jose is just such a great hitter. Great hitters don't stay in slumps for long. They just never do. So, and Naylor's only 200. Yeah, the team is going to heat up. And they already got, if Quan stays hot, he's going to get on base. Some runs will be scored. Seven and a half might be the play. Uh, let's look. Let's look at the Yankees, see how they've been doing. Let's see. They've only had four games to play. That's fine. Uh, Wells, buck 25. That ain't good. Stanton, 375. Stanton's doing pretty good. Torrey, 200. And Chisholm, 133. Are, are the playoff lights too bright for you, my friend? They might be. Uh, 286 for Soto. Judge is historically bad right now. <laughs> 154. I mean, just trash. That's just not good. And Volpe is at 250. So you can see who's done what. And Cleveland's definitely have the advantage in bats right now. You got to take Cleveland with the bats because they're so hot. Sands the only thing they have going for them right now with the Yankees. They have more ones than twos, it looks like. So let's look at who's pitching. Well, for Cleveland, they're sending out Alex Cobb. Two and one, two, seven, six, ten, and one oh four. Whip. Look at his game log. We can see against Detroit. He went three innings, three hits, two earned. Not the best outing, but hey, dude, whatever. Uh Pitt. And then Chicago, Minnesota, you see what he's done. So he's only pitched four games this year, but I mean, whatever. So let's look over here at 
Carlos Rodon, 16 and 9, 396, buck 95, and up 122. Whip. You can see his game log. You can see against KC, he gave up seven hits and four earned. He got a little rocked by the Royals of all teams. The coldest team in the playoffs rocked you. That ain't good going up against Cleveland, who is probably the hottest bats in the playoffs based on averages and everything for the whole playoffs. So, but you can see beforehand what he was doing in his last two games. So, how many times have you faced um, Cleveland? Let's look. I'm curious now. No, you have not faced Cleveland at all this entire season. Interesting. Okay, so first time seeing him, that's an advantage for you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's pop over to the props. Let's see. We want. Let's do Rodon first. Since we're talking about him, Rodon. Boop, boop. That's a lot of red for the handful. So, Jose is a buck seventy nine and twenty eight bats. That ain't good. That's advantage. Rodon two hundred and ten for Naylor. Zero for two for Hedges. Over two for Quan and one for five for Thomas. So, okay, we're going to get all star beast road on, or we're going to get five runs given up road on. You're going to get one of the two. I don't think you're going to get Mr. Two or three runs given up. It's going to be amazing or garbage. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, you see his lefties. You see how Cleveland does against lefties. There you go. There's your numbers. Good steal. Let's look at the props. Earn runs. Yeah, all over the place. I want the whole season. Uh, it's one and a half, 67%. Strikeouts, you can see what he's done. Five and a half. I can't use head to head because he never, hasn't faced him. Uh, head hits, four and a half, 58%. What was his strikeouts? Also 58%. Okay. Walks, also 58%. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's fun how I did that. And his pitching outs is 14 and a half pitching outs. So if you if he goes five innings, he will hit this. Does he go five full innings going against Cleveland's bats is a question. It's all, it's all those things. What is the game script going to do? I think he... Mm, I'm leaning Cleveland. I'm just going to tell you, right? I'm leaning Cleveland based on Quan and him. I think they get some runs on him. So his earned runs is at one and a half. He's gone over this six, seven, ten at the time. I think I like his prop. I like this prop a lot. Let's go to bats. <laughs> uh, actually, no, let's go to Alex. Okay, I forget. Let's go to Alex. Alex is weird because he only pitches a handful. He only pitched three innings against KC. So... Okay, um, like, how many are you actually going to pitch? Like, I'm sure he has a pretty short leash. You, you probably agree he has a short leash. So, let's see how Cobb does against Yankee bats. Historically, 0 for 2 for Trevino. What was that 1 for 6? 0 for 4. 2, 1 for 5. There's not much stats. Maybe there, are not at bats. 636 in 11 at bats and two home runs for Judd. I mean, for Soto. Damn. All right, Soto. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this. Torre, 333, two home runs, buck 50, 1.5 OPS. Okay, so a couple of these dudes like facing this guy. So, okay, I was leading Cleveland. Now I'm just kind of leading the over because if he gets teed off on by New York and then Cleveland tees off on the road on, then we all of a sudden hit the over in like the second inning. So <laughs> that's what we're going to rock with. We're going to rock with that over. I can already tell you right now. All right, over is going to be the play over. Is it seven and a half? Yeah, seven and a half. We're taking the over. Uh, let's look at the. Oh, I forgot to show how they are versus righties. There you go. There's how New York is versus righties. Can't forget that. That way you can see it. There you go. All right. And then earn runs. He's been all over the place. 2024. You can see how he's done. Strikeouts, earn run um, hits. That's all I have. So I wouldn't take a prop on him because we don't know how many innings he's going to pitch. Bats. Well, if you want to take an Aaron Judge walk, it's. Uh, 275 or 285 at DraftKings. There you go. He's hit it four, four out of five, nine out of 10, eight out of 20% of 20. Uh, yeah, there you go. Put it in there. Uh, Soto, like I said, Soto's a beast right now. You could be taking Soto's number. Um, Soto's not the beast. Where's Quan? And Quan over 1.2 HR seems like free bunny because if Quan gets two hits, there you go. So we're that's what we're going to do. We're going to rock with this. So we're going to go Quan over. 1.5 HR because I think he gets two singles. That's what I think happens. He'll probably score one of those singles. Uh, so Quan and I'm also taking that over 7.5 because I think one of these pitchers is going to get absolutely get their shit rocked, which means that means yeah, 
we'll be good there. So that's my place here. Quan and the over uh, outside of that. So that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Drop a like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. What's who, what's, you know, who's doing what. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm missing something. Hell, if you find out who's going to pitch today for, uh, for the uh, doctors, put it in the comments because you'll see it before I do because I got to focus on other things and work and all that other stuff too. So I appreciate you being here. We'll see you tomorrow for that Cleveland, New York part two. Peace.